welcome everyone i'm glad i'm finally able to do what the lord has been re has required of me since so long i was putting this thing away might be because of the busy schedule or whatever it might be but the lord the the holy spirit has been giving me an unction to keep delivering the word of god as often as i can to keep speaking about the seasons that i'm going through the word that the lord has been putting in my spirit the word which he's using so that i can be victorious in this season of mine he wants he he wanted for so long that i that i should be able to give the word as frequently as possible but anyways i mean he had to sit me down he had to allow some things to happen like just this he had to allow this to happen so that i sit down and i do exactly what he wants me to do in this season so today morning when i woke up i had a spirit of urgency in my spirit and the holy spirit kept telling me that you got to speak the word however wherever you are and i kept giving the lord an excuse that lord i can't move out of the house i can't go to the studio i can't i don't have the equipments to shoot right now but the lord said that we don't have enough time we don't have enough time the lord says come out of the the fancy come out of the glitz and glamour of it i don't the people who are going to watch you are not going to watch you for what how you look or what makeup you have on but people i want the people to receive the word i'm going to put the right people to watch this video just for the word that i want to deliver you are just you are just a mouth organ and i'm using your mouth so that the word of this season can be delivered to my people so all those who are watching right now it's not an accident that you are here it's absolutely not an accident that you are here we were destined we were orchestrated to do this that's why i didn't care about even if i wherever i had to shoot with whatever i had to do i had to do it because god is in an emergency and if you do not understand the times the window will shut on you because if you don't understand what god requires of you in from you in this season there is somebody else who is ready to do who is ready to stand in the gap who is ready to intercept and say god i am in here and the lord the lord has backups so it's for me to understand the importance of my vision so as we are moving into the resurrection day we all know resurrection was jesus rising up from the dead we all know about it but this time it's more about the resurrection of us it's more about us being resurrected it's more about that spirit of resurrection that was already given to us what is that spirit doing how are we using that spirit in this season in this season we can't we can't be spiritually dead we can't afford to be spiritually dead because if you don't draw from the wells of salvation if you don't use the spirit of resurrection that's inside of you you will not see the fullness of the season you will not receive or or you won't be a partaker of the portion that the lord has for you in this season and that's why every season we feel that there was more to it but we haven't received enough we haven't reached the fullness we haven't we haven't had we have not seen the fruits in completion that's because we don't know how to dive down we don't know how to use that spirit of resurrection to resurrect and to keep us moving on from glory to glory and strength to strength let me tell you one thing if you if the lord has put you on an assignment and if you are waiting see we each one of us has an assignment an assignment can be as simple as just being a housewife your assignment can just be taking care of your kids your assignment can be in your office 
the what kind of work that you're doing. But are we doing justice with that assignment? Are we giving fullness to that assignment? Because everything is orchestrated for us. But when we refuse to give the fullness, when we refuse that spirit of resurrection to keep resurrecting us and to keep moving from glory to glory and strength to strength, we are sinning. Sin is not just smoking and drinking and fornication. Sin is also not obeying what the Lord requires of you. So anyways, let's just go to Romans 8, 11. And I'm reading from the Amplified, the Amplified Bible. And if the spirit of him who raised up Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised up Christ Jesus from the dead will also restore life to your mortal bodies. Now what does this mean? It's very clearly said that the spirit of resurrection, the same spirit that was in Jesus when he raised up is the same spirit that dwells in you. Then why do you have sickness? Then why are we not effective? Then why are we lacking behind? That's because we are not using the spirit. Like I said, if you are going to wait for the Lord, Lord, give me capital and I will start the, my vision then. Give me the capital and then I will, I will go forward with the job or the business or whatever you want me to do. Give me the, the ability to do these things and then I will move forward. No, it's not coming before. When you do with what you have, begin your vision with what you have. On the way, provisions will meet you. On the way, miracles will meet you. On the way, everything that you need will meet you on the way. It's not going to come to you before. You've got to be obedient and step in. The Red Sea did not depart before the, the priest stepped in. The priest had to step in, walk a few, a few miles and then the Red Sea departed. Are you able to do with the provisions that you already have? You've got to begin to work your vision with what you have. And then provisions and glory and favors will meet you on the way. So this resurrection season, this, we are not entering as regular, as ordinary people. Because we are not meant to be ordinary people. We are people of the third dimension. We are stepping into this resurrection season saying that, Lord, I am the new me. I am stepping in with the spirit of resurrection. I, this is the resurrected me in this new season. You will see a resurrected me in this new season. The things that I have put behind, the things that I told God that I can't do, this is the season I'm going to do it and fulfill it. This is the season I'm going to walk with power and authority. This is the season you will not see me beaten down, but you will see me walk in victory and take territories for the Lord. This is the season where things that have not happened for so many years are going to happen to me in this season. Because I have decided that I'm going to walk with that spirit of resurrection. Listen, when Jesus was in the tomb, when Jesus was in the tomb, the spirit of resurrection was inside of him. And the spirit of resurrection, he did not wait. The spirit of resurrection did not come from outside. It was inside of him. And when it's alive inside of you, it can't help but it has to resurrect you again. It has to bring you back again. So Jesus, even when he was hurt in the flesh, he could not, more than three days, he could not be in the tomb. He could not be dead because death is not given to you. Death is not given to you. God did not say, I'm giving you a spirit of death. But he said, the same spirit of resurrection is in you and in me. That means our bodies cannot see death. Our bodies cannot see, cannot have diseases. So Jesus, after three days, nothing, nobody could help. But the spirit of resurrection that was already inside of him, had to rise him again, had to bring him to life again. That same spirit is in you and me and we are unstoppable. We are absolutely unstoppable. No matter what the enemy does, but we are unstoppable. And this season, let me tell you, your enemy knows 
the greatness that you are going to see in this season much more than what you know. And in this season, you have to show the enemy. You got to shock the enemy because when he comes against you, he's not coming against the old you, but he's coming against the resurrected you. And he can do nothing about it. He cannot do nothing. He cannot beat you down because this time he's facing a new you. This time he's facing a resurrected you. This time he's facing a person who's unstoppable. No matter what he tries to do, no matter where, in whatever situation you are, but you are unstoppable because the vision has to go on. Because everything that you need for your vision to go on, the Lord has given it to you. This is your time to stand there and on the walls of Jerusalem and say, I am not coming down. I am not coming down. And this is the season of your greatness. This is the season you got to stand and prove to the Lord that Lord, I'm worth it. I am worthy. You can trust me. I just thank the Lord for this time that he's given me and the word, the revelation that, that changed a lot of things inside me for this season. The way this word has equipped me for greatness that's to come. Right now, I release that anointing on everybody who's watching. For this season, is not going to be regular. It's not going to be ordinary. You will be shocked with what you are able to do. You will be shocked at yourself. And I want to thank the Lord because He truly is making you great in this season. There is no time. And He needs to be the power of Christ. The power of resurrection needs to be demonstrated through you. So I just leave you with the word of resurrection. Stay blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.